Hello everyone, this is Stunt Collector with another action figure review and here are the G.I. Joe class, uh, Classified Series Arctic Mission Storm Shadow. Alright, so here's the front for you. You get that picture of Storm Shadow right there. It looks cool. And you get Storm Shadow right there. G.I. Joe Classified Series logo. Here's the side with the Cobra symbols here. Here's the back with that art there that we've seen before. Here's the picture of Shadow, I mean Storm Shadow there. And here's the top, fourth, 14th figure, and then the Cobra symbol there. Besides that, let's crack him open. And here he is out of the packaging here. So first he has a bunch of accessories, so let's go over those first. So first, he comes with this anger. It's mainly white, and then you get these like little strings here, which you can actually unravel and make it into a little grapple. So yeah, these are actual strings. If you guys wanna undo that and use it, for something for him you can i probably will at some point but i'm a little worried that the string will get detached or something so yeah but yeah there's that and then he has this little uh axe here uh i like that i like the sculpt of it i wish there was a little more paint detail but it's white so yeah you get this like little grip here it's pretty cool so yeah and then you get this arrow same white so we've seen that before i think yeah and then you get his little holster for his sword here i like the sculpt of this too it's really cool and you get that peg here to peg it in so there's that one and you get a sword here so you get that uh gray for the blade part and then the white for the grip and then you get his air bow here nice and gold nice gold bow with the black grip here so that's cool and you get like the little uh screws in the inside of them so that's a cool little detail there for them and you get his like little holding i forgot what this is called but it's supposed to hold his arrows i wish they made this arrow gold like these are and it add like the black little things that is supposed to go around the bow to uh, secure it. They should have done that, but with this one, but yeah, if you want to, you could just probably paint it gold so that way it matches this, but I don't know why they didn't paint it gold like these are. So that's a little weird. So I like this a lot. It's really hefty and you get that little symbol there that is associated with uh, Cobra. And yeah, there's that. Uh, but besides that, that's all we got for accessories. So here's uh, Storm Shadow here. So you get this hood. It's a separate piece. If you guys want to pop off the head and just take it off, you can. But it kind of reminds me of the Assassin's Creed hood because of that little point there. He's wearing a mask that's black. He's usually wearing white, but since it's Arctic, he's wearing like black. I can't tell if that's purple eyes or what. It kind of looks like it, but yeah. And you get the eyebrows here, so that's cool. And then you get, uh, he's like all padded up. I like the detail, um, like the little white pieces here on the black. It looks cool. Nice and flaky look. So that's cool. I like the padding. For the shoulder pads is very loose. It's able to bend. It's like attached to the upper torso here. It's not connected to the shoulder owl. And then you get the gold lug straps get here to secure his back and front pad here. So that's cool. And then you get more of that cool texturing here. You got like a forearm pad here. They should have made that white and the elbows too. And you got the gloves here that kind of look like they're a gun holding hand. You get that like uh, knuckle uh, protectors there and then forehand um, pad there. And you get this like little skirt piece or whatever you want to call it. You get that black symbol. I don't know what it's for. You get the gold buckle. You get these pouches around the waist. You got like five on one side and then four on the other. And then a couple more in the back. So that's cool. And then you get the white knee pads here. That's cool. And you get like the calf pads, the white here. And white straps here around the foot. And then the toes you get that white looking thing it kind of looks like yeah it's like separating the big toe from that so that's pretty cool and then you get more cool details in the back here you get this like gold detail here it looks like there's 
bolts or screws in there. So that's cool. And yeah, that's all we got for details. Let's go over his articulation here. So his head can hinge down that far with the hood. Up pretty far, it's decent. Same deal, hood is kind of in the way. He can look left and right. He has a little bit of head pivot, not a whole lot. His shoulders can move out. I can, the pads kind of get in the way here. There we go, goes up that far kinda. Uh, 360 rotation-ish, the pad also gets in the way here. It, it rotates with it, but it stops like right there once it gets close to the end there. So you could probably do a 360, but you have to move the arm out. He does have a little bit of a butterfly joint here. He has a bicep swivel, double joints and elbows there. His wrists can hinge down. Wait, I don't want to get it wrong. Side to side, but it's kind of like stiff there for me or not it's just not going down and up yeah it's not going to move 360 rotation around there he has an ab crunch so it goes down that far backwards that far he also has a ball joint here so you can get him to go side to side with all the going you can get him to go that far forward that far back and then 360 rotation around there so that's good his legs have the drop hip text still so that's good you give him to kick out that far really good you give him to kick out pretty far um backwards a really good amount he has a thigh cut there double joints and knees whoops um his ankles can hinge down that far up that far nice ankle pivot you just plug this in first here just like that Plug this in right there, just like that, and then slide in the sword here, like that, and then you just have him with the bow here in his hand, if I could get in. Oh, that's going to be a little bit off camera work here. And... There we go. Got it. I just, I put, I slid it in through this way and then made his hand go down further. And then for the arrow, I don't know how they are. I think you just kind of like clip it in like this. I don't know. Right between the fingers. I think. No. Nope. Uh, yeah. I wish they had like a little bit of a better hand for him. Yeah, the arrow is kind of like a pointless piece, but I'm going to have him with this uh, pickaxe here and then the grappling. I think you could also just put somewhere, somewhere, I don't know where, but yeah. Don't know what to do with these two pieces here, but this way it looks like with all the accessories here. But besides that, I think it's a really cool figure. Uh, it comes with a lot of accessories. Whoops, let me point that out. But yeah, um, that's all I've got. <laughs>